Hello, I'm Kevin Kreski, and to my right, I have Mackenzie Madison, first year pro triathlete. Mackenzie, why don't you give us a little background? Uh... Okay, so, well, first off, you know, kind of started um, no sports in middle school when I was younger whatsoever, um, but then I started to run, and so I figured, you know, I'm getting kind of better at this, and pretty soon I'm running in college, and then from that, that stemmed to um, doing triathlons in the summer, because I swam when I was younger a little bit, and um, just going to throw the bike in there, you know, um, but I just finished my master's, and so now I have time <laughs> to train, and um, well, triathlon just kind of took over and I realized that, you know, I'm not just a runner and I'm not just a cyclist and that if you put them all together, I can do really well at it. So, so you spent all this time in college getting a master's degree. What do your parents think about you uh, not using that degree and becoming an athlete? Actually, I do use it. Um, I still coach as well and then um, I do a lot of exercise physiology testing. So um, I actually work for some really high up people who have gone to the Olympics and help them with their like lactate threshold testing, VO2 max, and so I apply that towards that as well. And so um, it's really cool because I feel that it's also helped me and train myself and almost at an accelerated rate versus others who aren't really as knowledgeable and kind of have to rely on other people. So I think that's really helped me too as an athlete. So, so you're, you're your own guinea pig. Yeah, but you know I love it. I'm a total science geek though, so yeah. Let's talk about your triathlon career. This is your first year as a professional triathlete. Mm -hmm. One of the races you uh, started off with this year was uh, Wildflower. Yep, yeah. How did you feel about the Wildflower race and the experience of the Woodstock of triathlon? Oh, it is it is amazing. I mean, the people there cheering, it. I always going down the trails and running. People put up high fives. It's awesome. Best aid stations ever. Um, but it's it's brutal. I mean, it's, it is Woodstock. I mean, you are camping out there, but the course, you know, um, can tear up your body but it's totally worth it and it's just a great location and the race directors are amazing I mean it is really cool yeah, Terry Davis does a great job with that race oh, yeah. now let's jump let's jump a little further into the season you went over you did Ironman Canada which kind of surprised a few of us media folks yeah. that when we talked to you earlier in the season at Wildflower you weren't going to do an Ironman yeah. now, I see your name pop up on there and I see a lot of names pop up and don't show up yeah. and I'm like now is this a fluke or is Mackenzie really going to race this then I'm watching and stats, and I'm watching the race online and getting feeds from people on the course, and I hear about this girl just cranking it on the run. I think you put a pretty good run together. Why don't you tell us about your day out there? Actually, you know, I had no clue what was going to happen. It was my first Ironman. Again, it, I was being my guinea pig and seeing what was going to happen at the end of the season, and, um, you know, I, I kind of had this gut feeling, you know, I, I really want to do this, and um, decided a month before it, and trained, um, just kind of did the last training, put in lots of mileage, a little bit more, um, and then, <laughs> you know, just after the swim, and I got on the bike, and I'm like, hey, this is awesome, and just the pace and the feel of the Ironman was amazing, um, and I think I just fed off that as well, and the community, and, you know, just long endurance stuff, pulling at that kind of really painful um, point for a long time, that's my forte, so... Um, but uh, I'm going to do Ironman Arizona. So I think that's a good choice, and it's a good choice if you had all in the back of your mind want to do Kona next year because yes, now with the yeah. new point system, yeah. you start have to you have to get your one Ironman out of the way, mm -hmm. and then you have to start focusing on points to yeah. achieve that possible goal of 2011. Yeah. Is that a goal for 2011? Yes. Yeah. I mean, base season I'm building right now, so I'm putting in the mileage and you know throwing an Ironman in there when and then doing some 70.3s when I'm doing some shorter distance training. It makes perfect sense. Sense. So doing an Ironman early, then making sure I can or have an opportunity to secure for 2011 at Kona. So because when I go there, I want to race it. So that's kind of why I said no this year. So. So you telling your competition to watch out for 2011? Is that what I'm hearing? Watch out if I can learn how to swim a lot faster, <laughs> which I'm going to. So I've been I've been working so hard on that, and I've already seen a lot of improvement. So. Yeah. No. Well, Mackenzie, it was awesome talking to you again. Yeah, nice to talk to you. Have too. a great off season, and uh, we look forward to seeing you at. Arizona because we'll definitely be out there covering that race. Oh, nice. I'm Kevin Kresge. This is first year pro triathlete Mackenzie Madison. Thank you.